Alaska is one of the top cruise destinations, and for many, it's on their bucket list. But unlike the Bahamas or Caribbean cruises, Alaska is a seasonal cruise region. So when you visit the area is extremely important. If you're thinking of taking an Alaska cruise, then this video is for you as we wade through all the factors you need to consider to help you decide when is the best time to cruise to Alaska up next. Welcome aboard cruisers, I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise so you can see the world one port at a time. Now the wife and I are big fans of Alaska cruises and we sailed to Alaska several times with a couple different cruise lines as well as at different points in the Alaska cruise season. So we're going to walk you through all of the things you need to consider when picking when the best time of year to go to Alaska is for you and your family. Now for starters, you can't sail to Alaska any time of year you want. It's actually a seasonal region. And the Alaska cruise season generally runs from late April to early May through the end of September, with some cruise lines pushing that boundary out until the first few weeks in October. Still, even within those few months, there are several factors to consider when picking when you should go on Alaska cruise. Among the factors that might impact that decision are the weather, cruise fare prices, the potential to see wildlife or the Northern Lights, as well as the crowd. So you'll soon discover the answer to this question isn't as cut and dry as you may think. Speaking of which, when considering when you should go to Alaska, weather conditions are another factor you need to consider. So let's start there. When planning your Alaska cruise, you probably have several questions about the weather, like what months are the warmest? What month is the driest? Now, of course, you've seen some beautiful pictures of Southeast Alaska. Unfortunately, though, the summer months in Alaska are not always bright and sunny. In fact, the weather during the Alaska cruise season can be rather wet. Now, of course, this isn't a perfect science because weather conditions are constantly changing. But historically, one benefit of traveling early in the season is reduced precipitation. Historically, May is the driest month of the Alaska cruise season. Less rain is good, especially for those selfies, but the weather also tends to be cooler earlier in the season. So on the flip side, if you're looking for the warmest weather, then mid-July to mid-August is when you'd want to go. Still, you can expect temperature swings of 25 degrees or more in one day. You could wake up to freezing temperatures and by the mid-afternoon be in the mid-60s. During our Alaska cruises in July and August, we've even had weather upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Now, if you're looking to squeeze as much sightseeing in as possible, the months of June and July have the longest daylight hours. During this time of year, the sun doesn't set until around 10 p.m. These extended periods of light make viewing the surrounding scenery, sailing in and out of ports even more appealing. When taking everything into consideration, average temperatures, rainfall amounts, and hours of daylight, it is true that the best time to cruise to Alaska for the weather is the month of July. But as you soon will see, with great weather come some other challenges. Now it is true if you wait till later in the season, you are rolling the dice a little bit on the weather. The rain and cold conditions could impact things such as shore excursions. For example, we've had shore excursions canceled in September due to the wet, icy conditions. Later in the season also means less animal sightings because they've already set up for hibernation. Of course, this is just a general trend. We've cruised in Alaska near the end of the season twice now and lucked out with the weather and still saw a good amount of wildlife. Even sailing in July or August, it's been hit or miss. We actually sailed to Alaska twice in 2021 in late July into early August, only a few weeks apart. In one week had sunny, warm weather and the next week rainy, cool weather. When it comes to price, Alaska cruise fares fluctuate considerably depending on a few factors. Pricing can range widely depending on the cruise line, itinerary, and time of year. Thus, when determining the best time to cruise to Alaska in terms of pricing, you need to know about the shoulder season. This is a term used to describe the beginning and end of the seasonal cruise regions. As with most seasonal cruise regions, the shoulder season is when prices tend to be the lowest. So if you're looking to save money, the best time of year to cruise to Alaska would be early in the season, late April to early May, or late in the season, September into early October. Besides having lower fares, you'll have greater choices for cabins. 
and score the perfect midship balcony at a lower cost. If you travel towards the end of the season, you might be able to score some great deals on souvenirs too, as many of the local shops are on sales to get rid of merchandise before closing for the season. Of course, other considerations like your cruise departure point, round trip versus one-way routes, type of shore excursions, airfare, and more need to be taken into account when budgeting for your Alaska cruise. Besides some shore excursions being canceled or not offered when sailing later in the season, we have lucked out finding reasonably priced flights and hotel stays during this time of year. Of course, you should do a little homework first just to ensure any cost savings you get on the cruise fare aren't wiped out by paying extra for things such as your flights or other added costs. Further, if you're looking to avoid the crowds, we highly suggest you skip cruising in the middle of the season, especially July. The busiest time of year for cruises to Alaska usually coincide with the warmest weather and summer break. If you cruise during this period, be prepared to share Alaska with thousands of other cruisers. Now, this isn't only true about how many individuals are on your cruise ship, but it also has to do with how many ships will be in port. If you take advantage of Alaska cruises during the shoulder season, you'll not only save money, but you will avoid the crowds, especially families. In April and May, kids are usually still in school and they're usually back to school by September. The number of families and kids will also of course vary based on the cruise line and the cruise ship you choose. Popular mega ships for brands like Norwegian Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean will inevitably have more families on board and hence feel more crowded. Besides the scenic snow-capped mountains, fjords, and glaciers, you're probably traveling to Alaska to see some wildlife too. Many will tell you that any time during the months of May through September is the best time to cruise to Alaska to see wildlife. While in general, when compared to the winter months, that's true, some months are better than others for viewing some types of wildlife. If you're a whale lover, you will have the opportunity to see a variety of different species of whales on an Alaska cruise. The most common whales in the region are the massive humpback whales. While they are found in the Gulf of Alaska during the entire cruise season, you have the best chance of spotting pods during the months of June and July. It is true that most whale watching tours will guarantee a whale sighting but they won't tell you what types of whales you'll see or how many. If bears are what you're looking to discover on an Alaska cruise, then traveling from late June through early August will increase your likelihood of seeing these creatures, especially if you take tours that depart from either Juneau or Ketchikan. And again, we can talk from first hand experience as we did a bear watching tour in Ketchikan in early August, and it was fantastic. Luckily, bald eagles are around throughout the entire cruise season in various stages of development. You can head to the Chilkat Eagle Preserve to see the world's largest collection of bald eagles. Early in the season, eagles will be preparing their nests. During peak cruise season, they'll be caring for their young. And later in the season, late August through September, you might get lucky enough to see adult eagles teaching their young ones to fly. Another benefit of sailing towards the end of the Alaska cruise season is a chance to see the northern lights. The aurora season is generally from the end of August until mid-April. Typically, you have a better chance of seeing the northern lights further north in Alaska, as cloudy skies are common in southeast Alaska. Still, you could get lucky. During the Alaska cruise season, the sun sets the earliest in September. The skies are the darkest, making for the most ideal viewing conditions. On our September cruise, we were told to be on the lookout for the Northern Lights on two separate nights. But honestly, we never did see them. But there's always next time. As we warned you earlier, there's really no clear cut answer to the question, what is the best time to cruise to Alaska? We've sailed there four different times now and have encountered a variety of weather, seen diverse wildlife, and been able to see the amazing glaciers. But there have been times where it's rained multiple days and the weather has impacted our itinerary and we weren't able to see some glaciers. We've also gone on tours that have guaranteed sightings and not seen wildlife. Not to mention sailing in different months of the year can actually cost you thousands of dollars more for the entire trip. Still for us, sailing during the shoulder season has been the best mix of price and experience. But ultimately, only you can make the decision on when the best time to travel to the region truly is for you and your family. Now, don't worry. If you're looking for more Alaska cruise planning advice, we're here to help. 
we have our expert Alaska cruise tips video right here on YouTube where we share our expert tips from everything from planning a cruise, packing, how to save the most money, as well as making the most of your time on board and ashore. Our expert Alaska cruise tips will ensure your cruise is smooth sailing.